Hi everyone, my name is Anna Morgan. I am a ballet tutor at a number of different vocational schools and colleges, as well as being a choreographer. And today I want to tell you why I so wholeheartedly support the tired movement. So I think it's amazing the amount of momentum that has built in this year and in the years leading up to now around the Black Lives Matter movement. And I truly hope that that makes everybody feel truly committed uh, to pushing forward for real and significant changes when it comes to racial equality. But I also think that each industry has its kind of own nuances and issues and our industry is no different there. And that is what I think is so special about the Tide movement because they are looking at those issues that are specific to our industry, which I think is gonna be so important. So my work now is predominantly within ballet and I guess, you know, it would be safe to say that that is one of the areas of the industry that is one of the more slow to progress when it comes to racial equality. And I believe we need to be pushing for change there. So yes, that's in the dancers that we see on stage, of course, that's very important, but also what's going on behind the scenes, you know, the choreographers, the teachers, the decision makers, because I believe that our, that the art form of ballet can only achieve its greatest kind of richness and quality if it's truly representative of the people of the world. So for many of us who have found ourselves in kind of positions of privilege, myself included, whether that's in the world as a whole or within the world of ballet, Within that world of ballet, we may not have even realised how easily we are catered for and that not everybody else is. So one very sort of simple example of that would be the issue around pink tights and point shoes. So as many of you will know, the idea of pink tights and point shoes is that it extends one long line through the leg and foot. So of course, in order for it to do that, it needs to match the dancer's skin tone. And until recently, that has not been possible. So for many dancers, they're either having to wear pink tights and point shoes that don't match their skin tone, or they were having to dye their tights, point shoes, ballet shoes, etc., to match their skin tone. Um, and you know, as, as well as being very expensive and very time consuming, you know, I can only imagine how emotionally draining and kind of demoralizing and frustrating that must have been for dancers. I know that Misty Copeland's commented on this recently and in her words, she said that this is just one of the ways that black and brown dancers have been made to feel excluded from ballet and that needs to stop. So we need to be pushing these companies to stock these full ranges to make sure that all of the different um, tones that they use are of the same price point so that no one is disadvantaged one way or another and that all of them are readily available. So anybody, any dancer can go into a shop and find tights, shoes, etc. in their skin tone, full stop. I also think that we need to be pushing forward our appetite as audiences to ballet companies to show that we want to see forward thinking fresh modern ballets so as far as i'm aware this does not happen in this country anymore but shockingly around the world there are many ballet companies quite unapologetically still using blackface and yellowface in their ballets um things like la bayadere and patrishka and uh, nutcracker and we need to just make it absolutely clear as audiences that we just simply will not tolerate that. I think we also need to be pushing companies if they are um, setting their ballets in certain historical contexts, we need to make it clear that we want them to do that in a very respectful way. So if there is a certain historical context, if a certain race is being represented, a certain culture is being represented, then that needs to be respectful and appropriate in terms of the kind of characterization, the costuming and the choreography so that everyone can go to the ballet and feel comfortable watching whatever they, whatever work they are watching. I do feel that for those of us who are white in this industry, um, we do have a strong duty to speak up 
and especially to do that in predominantly white spaces if we find ourselves in those uh, of which you know I do think there are still many we need to be making it clear that we want to push uh, for racial equality and that we do not want to accept slow or no progress here so I suppose they're just a few of my ideas um, my thoughts uh, particularly within ballet but that is just one small part of our industry um, which in many ways has been problematic in these areas and that's what I think is so amazing about the tired movement because they are looking at the industry as a whole from your, your kind of grassroots local dance schools through to your voc vocational training and into the professional industry and they're wanting to ask those questions and open up those discussions uh, they've got so many amazing plans and I just can't wait to see everything that they achieve because I have full faith that they are going to make real significant and quick changes to our industry for the better